Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm glad you're here. And we have a really exciting vlog today because I am going on a last minute trip. Brendan and I were looking at the weather over the weekend for this coming week that I'm in now and also the weekend that's coming up. And it is going to be very rainy and very cloudy and cold and gross. And I said, do you wanna to go to Miami? And he was like, mm-hmm. So we are taking a last minute trip to Miami and I'm really excited to be down there. It looks like 10 out of 10 perfect weather, which I checked before because sometimes Miami weather can be very hit or miss. So I checked it before, beautiful 80 degrees, sunny, no wind, no chance of rain, 100% chance of rosé. So I did some shopping this past weekend, which I wanted to show you. But before I show you what I got from YSL, I wanted to show you some other stuff that I got from Matches. Matches is going out of business, or that's that's what I was told. Maybe it's not. They're having like big sales, 25% off of everything, including Loewe bags, a, a lot of stuff. I really do think that they're going out of business. So, hi Zoe. Hi. So, let's start with unboxing that, then I'll take you through what I got from YSL. Some really cool stuff that I've been wearing a lot already. And then I went to Ami Paris and got some stuff and then that's it for the shopping. But I also have to pack. So the goal is to get everything packed into a carry-on. So we'll see, but that is my goal to get it all in the carry-on. If you're unfamiliar with matches, matches is like a Mr. Porter kind of. So ooh, as I destroy the box, like, Make sure I don't destroy the box in case I have to return it. Matches is like a Mr. Porter, but they have different brands. Let me... Got a bathing suit. I haven't gotten a new bathing suit in a long time. This is not exactly the color that I was thinking it would be. Soft from the brand Commas. Just looking how it looks on camera. I guess that is true to... The, the, the salmon color looks more salmon on camera and more tan in person. I have to try that on. I like that it has the black strings. It's cool, it looks like a great length. Really comfortable, nice elastic waist. All right, we'll try that on. Then I got some trousers from Jill Sander. My boyfriend's been telling me about like to get trousers like this that are so that I can elevate my looks a little bit and I'm not always in black denim when I'm wearing something that's a sleek outfit or going out or, but I just don't love, like, I don't wanna put on what I would consider suit pants, you know? So I like these because, hello, we love that, love that. How does this waist look? We'll see. So it's just a very simple trouser. I'll try these on for you. These look, look promising, honestly. Then I got from Stone Island a t-shirt. I have the black one and I love it. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. So I figured all this was 25% off. So I figured might as well give the white one a shot. And I also had Miami in mind and I, fig and I thought it would look good during the day, pool, beach. A little bit extra. Yeah. I kind of had this look in mind because it would be the black Stone Island logo with the black pinstripe of the. All right, that's what I got from Matches. Now for what I got from YSL. I went into YSL because I wanted to get a pair of denim, black denim, very black denim. Like, I feel like a lot of the jeans that I have that are black are very faded. And I didn't really, I kind of just got another pair of faded black jeans. They're not jet, jet black, but they are blacker than, in darker black in color than the jeans that I have now. So I check on that box, but they are, these are actually baggier than, I wanted to get a little bit of a slim, not skinny, not skin tight, but I wanted to get a little bit more tapered to just have something that's more elevated and put together looking than a baggier jean, but I ended up getting a baggier jean. In fact, it's one of the more baggy jeans that I own, and I really like it, really, really like it. I think it's so cool. And then that inspired me to get other stuff, so I'll start with the jeans for you. I guess they're looking pretty black, but these are 
jeans. If you're curious, they're the D25. Nice detailing on the YSL jeans. This little metal part and then the leather label. And then on the back, very minimal branding. I find that YSL clothing specifically holds up really well for me. And I, I just like to have a designer to me, to me, the designer aspect of a piece of clothing or denim is going to make me take more pride and care in it. And it's not something that like, this isn't going to sit at the bottom of my closet and never get worn the way is that maybe I didn't think about it as much. And I just went to Bloomingdale's and bought a cheaper pair of jeans. These I will truly incorporate into my look because the price makes you think about it more. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to come across as out of touch. I, I completely understand these are expensive jeans and that I could go and I could buy rag and bone jeans for 195 probably, and they would have been fine. But I don't know, these make me feel special and they make me feel happy and I will, and I made sure that they fit me the right way and I will wear them more. It, is this, Am I blabbering? Okay, the shoes. These are essentially the YSL Air Force One. I personally don't think that a Nike Air Force One is really my vibe, but I loved these and they specifically look really good with those jeans. So yeah, I don't know, I just really love them. They're super comfortable and Spoiler alert, I already wore these once, so, but I'm just showing you now. But I don't know, they're just really cool to me and they're not, they already come a little bit scuffed up. A lot of YSL shoes do, even their white ones. So you don't have to be too precious about it. And I'm definitely not precious about white sneakers. Like I wear them and get them shitted up and I don't care. But these are really cool and I'm really excited about incorporating them into more of my spring and summer looks. Last from YSL, I got this silk shirt. And honestly, when before I put it on, I wasn't too sure and I wasn't sold on and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be me. But when I tried it on, I was very pleasantly surprised and it's got going out vibe. It's got sleek, put together, cool boy kind of a look. And the YSL logo on it is very subtle. You really have to be close up in order to see it, but I, I love this shirt and it's I don't have anything like it. I've realized I love wearing black, I wear mostly black and I don't have a lot of black. And when I wanna look sleek and I wanna have that going out vibe, I just didn't have the, I didn't have a lot of shirts when it came to it. It was honestly just one black cashmere Mr. Porter sweater and some black t-shirts. So I'm glad that I got this. And then I went across the street. This is the problem with living in Soho major, actually major 911 problem, is these stores are just really close together and close to my apartment. So after that, I went across the street to Ami Paris and I'll show you what I got. Similar to, oh God, I, I bring one thing home. It, it just instantly has Zoe all over it. Similar to the YSL shirt, this is just another black shirt. However, this one is way oversized. I actually got this in a size small and I'm for sure not a size small. And it's cotton, but it's kind of see-through, which is cool. Or So it's nicer for summer, like a nighttime summer outfit. And I like that the Ami logo is subtle and black on black, and it's not too in your face with the red logo that might have been on it or I've seen before. And, but this looks really cool for with the black baggy jeans from YSL and then this shirt. So I'll try this on too for you. And then last, I also got this from Ami, which is just a black t-shirt. And a lot of my shirts, including the one I'm wearing now, in terms of t-shirts are the Robert Barraquette shirts, which I highly recommend. Again, my boyfriend told me about it. Um, but I really like the, I like having a little logo and a little designer element to it, especially if it's something that you're wearing out, if that's the, that's the common theme of this right now. So that is everything that I got. I'm really excited about these purchases. Now let's, Start to pack. The minute I start talking to the camera, Zoe becomes concerned. And we're just gonna comfort her. Right, Zoe? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, daddy's a vlogger now. And this is, when she sits in this chair, you know it's a problem because she knows something's up. That's not her normal spot. Her normal spot 
is usually over on the couch in that corner, buried somewhere, but she's here and she knows it. The other spot, I think I've mentioned this before, is over here on this bench. That is her other secret spot. I have everything laid out here. I tried to get everything organized by outfit and look and things like that so that I don't overpack because when I overpack, it's typically because I have just thrown everything in and I'm gonna make decisions when I get there. So first night look is that Ami shirt and the YSL jeans and I'll wear the, the white YSL shoes that I tried on for you with that look. And then those new Jill Sander pants, I really, really like the way these look. So um, I hope you do too, uh, but they are really comfortable and I think they look sleek and great and good for a night out, which is exactly what I wanted. And then I'll wear the YSL top silky shirt with it and I'll do the Prada shoes, the Prada loafers with that. And then I've got some pool looks, which in Miami is just as important as the night. So I'm gonna bring the these Bottega swim trunks that I've had for about a year now and this John Elliott tank top and it's kind of oversized. I think it's a cool look, maybe with a hat. And then these are the Kama swim shorts that I just tried on for you and the new Stone Island tee. I think that's a cool beach look. And then I'm not really sure yet. I kind of have this, because really Sunday is a full day there. So I may bring these, maybe this Louis Vuitton white t-shirt, but we'll see. If you've just got some extra t-shirts in here, uh, a white, the cherries one, and the Ami shirt that I talked about, and the, a Robert Barquette, just black plain tee. These are cotton Mr. Porter shorts that are just good knock around shorts if I need to put those on, but I have a feeling I'll either be in gym clothes or, which I have here, a bunch of gym clothes, booked a fun soul cycle class while I'm there some underwear, socks. The the YSL jeans came with a tote bag. So I thought that would be a cool bring to the pool kind of bag, throw your Kindle and AirPods in. And that is everything I'm trying to bring. These are the shoes that I just discussed. I did some packing off camera. Don't come for me with the suitcase on the bed. Okay, I know, I know it's bad, but I don't want to bend down. So I'm all packed up, pretty compact. I'm in the carry-on officially. I have my toiletries in here. I took a lot of reorganizing to get that done, but I'm just gonna probably leave this open until I leave tomorrow. I'm gonna to wear these chunky big ass shoes on the plane because otherwise they're not gonna fit. So typically I'd wear something like these on the plane, but I think this is the better solution. That's it for now. By the way, I've become kind of obsessed with these Olipops. I know that this is nothing new, but I'm trying to kick the Diet Coke habit, so. These are good. All right, until next time, or actually, I think I'm taking you to Miami. Either way, uh, I'll see you there. So it's day two in Miami, staying at the one hotel. I'm gonna show you the room, but like it's really, it's bombed, completely bombed behind me. Uh, I always say to myself, like I'm not I'm gonna unpack and be organized, but there's just something about it not being my room that makes like at home, that makes me just be like, I'm gonna trash it. You know, not like ruin it, but like just like clothes and I don't know, whatever. We worked out this morning, Brendan's showering. So if you hear that water, that's what it is. Uh, we worked out this morning, went to Starbucks, and we're gonna go to the Standard now, meeting a friend, and we're gonna just spend the day at the Standard. We did the pool here yesterday, which is really nice. There's an adults-only pool on the roof, and it's great. And But the Standard is a good vibe, and so we're gonna do that for a little bit this afternoon, and we are going to dinner later at Rayo's. Uh, it's brand new, just opened up here in Miami, but you probably if you haven't heard of the restaurant, maybe you know the, the sauce company, but it's the same company. And I went to Carbone down here on the last trip that I was here, and it's great, amazing. So I'm just curious how Rayo stacks up. And last night we went to Casa Tua, which is always good. I've been many times. But yeah, I'm going to take you around today, and we are going to hit the standard. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm the worst vlogger. I did not take any really clips at the standard, but it was fun. We had lunch, met a friend there. Um, back at the one now, we're gonna get to the main pool and the beach, but I wanted to show you guys the room first since Housekeeping just came and um, yeah, they're actually setting up for a wedding. Pretty, it's such a nice night. They've been setting up for hours and hours and hours. I don't know what they're doing, but well, they're just like flowers, roses. That's gonna be a hot wedding. Okay, so you enter in from here and there's this little vestibule, closet space here, and then you have little mini bar area with things that are marked up, I don't know, 300% maybe. And then the room. This is a king room, if you're curious, and it's very nice. We have this beautiful ocean view, and it's honestly, it looks so beautiful, so beautiful. Really nice. And then you've got a little seating area here to do if you wanted to work. Bed is nice. I really like this wall, this uh, shiplap situation is pretty. And the bed's actually really comfortable. The mattresses are Kitsa. I don't know if you've ever heard of Kitsa before, but they're really pretty. I'm sorry, not pretty. They're nice, comfortable. I had a Kitsa once, years ago. Um, I really like that when hotels have this little detail, the cord, the plugs on the nightstand is always nice. And by the way, this is, I talk about this one a lot, but I love this dock, which is great when you're traveling and that thing folds up to like a pack of cards basically. Big full length mirror. And then you've got bathroom, nice shower, great water pressure, and pretty big vanity where we can each have our stuff in here. And yeah, this is actually one of the more, the smaller rooms. How do you like your stay? I'm loving it. Ooh, the microphone. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? We're gonna go to the pool on the roof, right? No. You wanna go to the roof? I was. I yeah. wanted to go to this one, I thought. You wanna go to the roof? Yeah, as long as I can drink. As long as I can drink. Brennan's gonna remind me to vlog, and we will make sure that we get some clips from the pool now. What time is it? Four or three? My watch is not set. It's either four or three. Today I'm wearing my Bottega swim trunks and John Elliott cut off tee, which is oversized, and the Cartier and the David Yerman box chain bracelets. These are the Mr. Porter sandals. This is really the uniform. Why do I have like bike grease on me? I am wearing a suit exist. supply <laughs> linen shirt. These are two exist. Pretty cheap bathing suits, but look nice. Yep. My rainbow flip-flops, <laughs> pretty cheap and look cheap. And then this is a La Mer croissant bag that Ben got me for Christmas. And then these are Assembly New York.